Now let's head into the last couple sections. Let's start putting everything we've been doing for the last unit and a half into one big piece. And this is very much preparation for AP work. And I know you're thinking, we're not in AP, we're in honors. But remember what I said, I treat this course as pre-AP. So everyone in here is going to do AP level work at some point during the year. Now let's rewrite these this chemical reaction in words. Hopefully you got a jump start on I me and you're writing it down. Well, we know that Zn is zinc. The plus sign means reacts with HCl. Hydrogen chloride. Could it be hydrochloric acid? Possibly, but I don't know if it's aqueous, gaseous, liquid, what it is, and hydrochloric acid has to be aqueous. And we'll talk about the AQ in, a, in a, another section. Um, so for right now, we're just going to write it as hydrogen chloride. Yields. ZnCl2. Zinc chloride. And hydrogen. Can I definitively say it's hydrogen gas? No. Again, without knowing what uh, what phase of matter, I'm just going to write it as hydrogen, period. Now, as an aside, how would I balance this? Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, since I already wrote the words there, I'm going to draw my little line down here. Zinc, H, Cl, zinc, H, Cl, one, 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 one. Two, two. Okay, well, leave hydrogens to last, so let's do the chlorines. Put a two out in front, gives me two chlorines and two hydrogens, and shabamo, it's balanced. Remember what I told you about those hydrogens sometimes being taken care of by those other, compound, uh, other elements? This is a good example of that. How about this one? Rewrite the following chemical reaction in words. KClO3, okay. K is potassium. And of course, right now, it's perfectly all right to have out your important ions to know sheet if you're not remembering all these compounds. ClO3, chlorate. Potassium chlorate. Yields. KClO4. Potassium perchlorate. And potassium chloride. <clears throat> I know it looks funky. Um, what type of reaction would this be? Just out of curiosity. Good. <clears throat> Decomposition. Decomposition because you have one substance breaking down into multiple substances. <clears throat> okay. So those are turning reactions into words. Now let's turn words into reactions. So rewrite the following reaction in formulas. It says sodium metal reacts with water to yield sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So sodium metal, Na, reacts with plus water, H2O, yields sodium hydroxide. Now write it first, just like we did in the last unit. Just write it by the elements and then balance the charge. So I've got sodium and hydroxide, OH. OH, we look, is minus one. Sodium is plus one. They balance out, so we cross them out. Plus hydrogen gas. Hydrogen, of course, is, that's right, diatomic. So since it's diatomic, we have to write it as H2. Now let's balance it real fast just to make sure we keep on practicing. I know, you're like, Mr. Siegel, I've done 700 of these now. It's okay, one more is not gonna hurt you. So I've got one sodium. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. One sodium, one oxygen, three hydrogens. Just like the lithium example earlier, the hydrogens are in multiple locations, so therefore I have to treat them separately. So let's try putting that two here. Give me two sodiums. Two plus two is four hydrogens and two oxygens. I come over here, I balance my sodiums, balance my hydrogens. Four, two, everything's balanced. Okay. 
Now let's do the bottom reaction. Potassium reacts with liquid bromine to produce potassium bromide. Potassium. Okay. Is potassium one of our diatomics? I bring clay for our new house. No, nothing with a K. So potassium plus liquid bromine. Ah, bring. I brought clay. Bromine. Diatomic. Yields. Potassium bromide. KBr. Balance your charges. Minus 1, plus 1. The 1's cancel. Therefore, it's just KBr. Obviously, balancing it looks something like that.